What's going on, guys? It's your boy Marco Matic. It's the Marco Matic Show. So today we are going to talk about the closed beta guide for Ghost Recon Wildlands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, just been up for a few minutes, and I feel like I just wanted to share this with the world. Ghost Recon Wildlands is a game I've been looking forward to. It's a third person open world co-op shooter from Ubisoft or Ubisoft, whatever you want to say. But, um, you know, in case you haven't got a chance to register for the beta, the beta comes out on February the 3rd. Today is the day they're going to start letting you pre-download the beta to your console. So if you haven't got the email yet, I'm sure it's coming. Um, if not, then better luck next time. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if I will be able to get it soon, but let's hope so. Um, so I think uh, the beta is going to be across all three platforms on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. I will, once I get it, I will be playing it on the PlayStation 4. Um, hopefully, in time, I will be able to get the PlayStation Platinum wireless headset. I've been wanting to get them. Um, so hopefully, I'll be able to snag it up um, very soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, about the uh, Ghost Recon uh, beta guide, um, a few months ago, um, we had a great pleasure to announce the uh, opening registration to the closed beta. Um, they are thrilled. I've uh, tweeted a couple of um, the developers, and um, they revealed the dates um, of this new and important milestone before you know, the release of the game on March the 7th. Um, and if you look on the website, they do have a collector's edition for it. And then they have, of course, like every Ubisoft game now, is the gold edition that comes with the game and the season pass. So, um, like I said earlier, the, available, the beta will be available on February 3rd for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Um, so pretty much uh, when I go down and break down some other details um, as far as access and friends referral because uh, you know you're not going to be wanting to play this game by yourself I know I wouldn't but you know they do have it set up to where you can play um, you can play with you know the artificial intelligence on the game if you want to do a single player they can you know you can command them and go through the whole game but it's more fun playing with friends. So if you've been selected to participate in the closed beta on February the 3rd, you will be contacted by email on your Ubisoft account uh, email. Um, you got to follow the instructions contained with the mail and uh, with the mail to confirm your participation and platform. And they probably will see you like a little code. You down and you put the twelve digit code on PlayStation or twenty five on Xbox or you know Steam or whatnot. Once you get the code, it'll go ahead and um, preload the the game, uh, download, install it, and update it, so forth. So when it actually comes out, you'll be ready to play. Because most problems with the betas is that when it when it comes out, you have to wait for it to download, install, which took forever, and They want to give people more opportunity to play as much as possible because I'm sure there will be an open beta as well. They did it for the vision. They did it for Rainbow Six Siege. So, you know, I'm a huge supporter of Ubisoft. Also get the Watch Dogs, um, Assassin's Creed, maybe not so much anymore like I used to, but you know, the SEO trilogy was my favorite. Um, so this one should be pretty good. Um, the download size will be approximately 25 gigabytes. They recommend you download it before the actual start of the closed beta, which I don't know how you will be able to play it without downloading it. Um, <clears throat> for you PC gamers out there, I got the requirements right here. Of course, you, I'm sure there's other YouTubers that are doing this, but you know, I could tell you as well. Um, the operating system is either Windows 7 SP1 or Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 64-bit versions only. Then you have 
um, the Intel Core i5, <clears throat> 2.5 gigahertz, or AMD FX 4320 with 4 gigahertz. Has to have 6 gigs of RAM. Um, the video card um, is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660 or the AMD R9-270X. 2 gigabyte VRAM in the shader model 5.0 or better. Um, the direct X end user run times um, for June of 2010. The sound is direct X compatible using the latest drivers. Hard drive 50 gigs of available space um, and peripherals. Windows compatible keyboard and mouse required. Optional controller. Which is probably the Xbox One controller if you're smart on PC, it'd be fun. Um, rec recommend the system requirements. And they got all of that other stuff that you can go into beta and look. Of course, PC they have a long list of requirements. So you know, I'm more of a console gamer, so we're going to see to that. But as far as PC, I got love for you guys. Um, some of y'all, you know, follow me on here that play on Steam, and I do have a Steam account. I just don't have a powerful PC yet. My goal is before I turn 30 years old to build my own PC. Um, I may start a Kickstarter and see if somebody can fund me. Because the only way I'm going to get a, uh, a powerful PC is if someone funds me. So hopefully I can find someone to fund me a new PC. That'd be a smart idea. So um, let's move on. Now, Ghost Recon Wildlands is very first uh, military shooter. Said in a massive, dangerous, and responsive open world that you can play entirely in four player co op or in solo. Um, during the beta, um, you'll be able to um, discover the very first hours of the Ghost Recon Wildlands in the first province of, I hope I pronounce this right, um, Etiqua, uh, one of the 21 regions of the massive open world. So they got 21 regions on there. One of them is Etika or uh, Itaqua. It's, it's I-T-A-C-U-A. If I'm spelling it wrong, you can let me know later. Um, you'll be able to, you know, explore the area and complete main story missions. Um, but you will also be able to engage in side activities. The full gameplay loop is available for you to discover as well as the character customizations and gunsmith features. One thing that Ghost Recon I know does well, and what they did with Ghost Recon Future Soldier, is customization of weapons. You can modify and do so much with your weapons. So as far as going down to the stocks, the handling, the adjustment grips, um, the ammo, the scope, it's going to be fun. It's going to be dope. Um... You know, they got character smith and gunsmith on there. You know, you can look at more into on um, uh, uh, following videos. Um, a closed beta participation, you will be granted access to the official beta forums and portal. Um, they got closed beta, frequently asked questions, and latest news. Um, so, with that one, um, it looks pretty legit. Um, far as the uh, the closed beta guide, you know, the co-op play is pretty much going to be the fun part. Um, I think pretty much this, these moments of uh, co-op play is going to be memorable. And we've been looking for a game... That's kind of similar to the vision, but gives you more open world capabilities and more customizations with your weapons. I think Ghost Recon will successfully do that if you're looking for that type of game. If you're looking for a game that's going to be, you know, similar to Grand Theft Auto, I don't know why everybody wants to compare a game to Grand Theft Auto. It is a different game on its own. Um, it really is. So, um, you know, far as the co-op goes. Um, I'm sure they'll have it to where you probably want to be smart about it and pick like you know like someone that has a good sniper weapon 
and then you want two people to do like you know close encounters and then one you know step back just a little bit um to go stealth and stuff like that i'm sure y'all will you know plan everything to the t and then everything will work out well um I'm just so excited. Um, I'm a huge Ghost Recon fan. Um, well, I'm a big Ubisoft fan as well, but I'm looking forward to playing this. Um, so, you know, that it would be enough to get me um, occupied until Mass Effect and Andromeda drops. But Mass Effect and Andromeda drops, um, everything else is obsolete. I can't. Um, I can't say enough, like, you know, how much I'm looking forward to that game. But this one, this uh, video is all about Ghost Recon, which is one of my second most anticipated games this year because I don't know if any other games are going to come out in the fall, but we shall see. Um, so if y'all want to play with me on the PlayStation 4, uh, just add me. Uh, my name is Marco Matic. Um, just like, you know, the title description on there, the Marco Maddox show. So follow me on there. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Twitch, all the social media. Just look me up, even Google me and Mar as Marco Maddox and my face will pop up or something will, I'm sure. So, um, you know, if y'all want to play with me, just let me know. And, you know, I'd be happy to play with you. I don't mind. Um, you know, the times that I do have free... Um, I will be streaming Resident Evil 7, uh, Biohazard uh, today, and then possibly some Watch Dogs 2. I'm going to play a little bit of my PlayStation today. I've been playing uh, my Xbox One a lot more because uh, I got Rainbow Six on there and I got The Division on there. I thought about getting Ghost Recon on there, but, you know, look in the comments. Tell me what do you think. you think I should get um, Ghost Recon Wildlands on Xbox One or PlayStation 4? Um, just let me know. I uh, hope y'all like and subscribe my video. And thank y'all for watching. And I hope y'all all have a lovely Wednesday.